Hey guys, like here. Uh, part two of our treehouse build begins now. I got my coffee, I got my water, I got more screws, got my tools, and we got more lumber. I'm gonna finish the floor now. Leave it probably opening as you come up here. We're gonna, instead of doing an outside rope or ladder, probably just come up right from the inside here. So it'll be safest way to get up there. So we're gonna finish the rest of the floor. This little section here I was talking about. Probably make that stick out a little bit, but I don't want to go past these trees. I don't want this being that noticeable. And then we can start on figuring out the walls. And if anybody asked, on any plan on this or directions, nope, I'm winging it step by step. Don't even know how the walls are going to look yet, the roof. But uh, that's part of the fun, you know? So we're going to figure out as we go, make you work around the tree and make you look good. But the best part is up here, since we have a working base, we can easily prep cut our wood right here instead of going up and down like until this point. So this is the section we gotta close up now. So this next floor be being here, I want it nice and around the tree, not just a square cut. So I don't have any fancy tools or anything. I just took a piece of cardboard, matched it up, outlined it. I'm gonna use this jigsaw here to cut it. At first, when I'm gonna be using the saw, I'll probably do a review after it because it looks pretty cool. So, let me do that. There it is, nice, wrapped around, one inch, uh, push the tree to put stuck on the wood, actually cut it pretty smoothly. Here's the progress, as you see the saw is making all the difference, I don't have it, I don't even know how, how we do this, so that's that. Here's the progress so far. Still got a good front of that tree. Over here I just added a 2x6 and then I put a little brace here. And that's it. And we'll run the floor probably like out to here. Maybe, just maybe do a little window here or something. Here is going to be the entrance. It's gonna be right around the floor. It's gonna open and close, so it's nice and safe. Let me add a two by six here. So you can sit on top or something like that. Still gotta figure that out. Give it a decent look over here. Yeah, let's keep going, guys. So this is the end of the uh, other side of the tree. The little lip. We cut all the pieces out. Then bolt them down. Put a nice clean finish around the tree as well, so it goes all the way around now. Use the paper trick to do the round corners, and it worked out great. So here's where we stand, guys. We've got the wall outlines done now. Those two by fours are already mounted. Our entrance. This little extension here and now i'm gonna put up the walls i'm probably gonna go about 52 inches high facing this wall of the yard and the back wall that's gonna be covered i'm gonna probably make it a foot lower and just make a slanted roof going down on an angle like this uh, it'll be easier design probably more cost efficient so i'm thinking doing the studs here the 16 and 24 inches uh, part um, and the way you measure your spacing, you know, if you were doing real construction, which technically a treehouse still is, uh, for 16 inch studs, you basically want to be 16 inches in the middle of your stud. A uh, stud is uh, one and a half inches or two by four. So if you put this right here, you should be right in the middle. And the way you do that is basically go measure to 15 and one quarter, put an X on this side, as that's where your stud is going to go. And that's 
called uh, 16 on center. So then the next part will be uh, 32 on center, which is 31 and a quarter. Mark it, put an X, that's where your next stock goes. If I'm gonna be doing 24, I'm gonna make it a 23 and a quarter, mark the X, and that's where my stock goes. That's gonna be 24 in center. And you do that down your uh, framing wall, whatever you're planning to do. It's that simple, guys. Here's the first wall. Now to the other side. So here's the progress on the other wall, which is about a foot shorter than the front over here. So we'll have a nice declined roof. Now we just gotta figure out what I wanna do here. To close this out all the way to the end, we'll just do a little balcony here. So we're gonna play with that. And then we gotta close this section off here. I'm good here. I'm good here. Here's the bigger wall. I'm not gonna probably wrap around this tree here, leave it more exposed. And then this is a smaller wall. And then over the swing here is gonna be the little probably balcony too facing out into the neighborhood. And here is all the repurpose what we're gonna use from the playhouse that we saved so we're gonna try to use this for the walls and then we're gonna take apart this old roof since we got this nice staggering look already aged uh, to cover most of the roof it's five feet wide so it will give us some coverage all right guys I think this is it for part two we got our walls up uh, this one is 51 inches high this one over here facing the yard is 65 that's gonna give us a nice slant for the roof. Uh, we did the studs 24 inches apart. It should be enough for a treehouse build. And then the next part is gonna be doing the roof. We're gonna to try to repurpose the old playhouse for the roof, at least for most of it, and also for some of the walls. Uh, because so far everything has been new construction. Um, as you see, everything nice and cleanly done here around the tree. And we're going to build that gate here later. And over here is probably going to be like a balcony or something, but we'll figure that out. So stay tuned. Part three coming soon. It's going to be the roof build and the walls. Thank you.